Hey everybody, Anthony here. Um, I got, over the past few months, I went, you know, to Walmart and other places and I got a bunch of lures here and there. So I've kind of built up a big collection. So instead of just doing like a 15, 20 minute video of all the stuff I bought, I'll break it down into like a couple videos here and there. So it's only like about five minutes long, so I don't want to bore you with a big long video. Uh, so. We'll start off with that. I'll just show you what I got in my first bag, and then I'll post another video some uh, down the road. So, anyway, first, oh, it's a fresh one, guys. So, my first bag. I even wrote on here what it was because that's so many. This is when I went to Dick's Sporting Goods. Alright, let's start off with this. Um, these missile baits right here. These are baby D bombs. <clears throat> Tell you the truth, I think I actually got these. I think I got these at Sports Chalet because they're on sale for like a a buck fifty. Like for like three ninety nine to a buck fifty. So uh, yeah. I got so much stuff lying around and I just kind of just put them in the bag to like try to categorize them. But anyway, pass, let's get past all that boring stuff. So I have four packs of missile baits, baby D bombs. Um, this one is Love Bug. The other one is Bruiser Flash. And it's Green Pumpkin. And Desert Storm. I'll take these out so you can see them. I don't know how well it's going to show. I mean, I'm in the back room here because the girls are just driving me nuts. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this. It's all ribby. Kind of small in profile. I don't know how what size is it. Probably three inch maybe. Two and a half. That's the Desert Storm. I mean, you pretty much get the, the gist of it. That's the green pumpkin. Bruiser Flash. Looks like it has a bit of some blue in it. Blue and black. You can see that. And then we got the Love Bug. Kind of like some purple with uh, some red in it. Pick that out so you guys can see it. Very, uh, very juicified, these baits. They really soak them in. Ooh, it smells like some kind of like WD-40 or something. What it kind of smells like? Uh, might as well juicify now. Shit. <clears throat> Don't think around was laying my wife's bra. Wipe this off. Just in case you didn't believe me. Holy shit. Okay, next thing. I got some Gary Yotomotos. These are creature baits. Seven in a pack. Black, blue. I mean, black, blue. Black with a large blue flake. Let's take this out. Little pinches on the bottom. This would be pretty nice. A little bit of a stench to it, not too bad. So, on to the next thing. I got some Z Man Finesse Worm Z in Green Pumpkin. As everybody knows, these can stretch forever and they just bounce right back. Drop shot, maybe, maybe sh shaky head. This would be pretty nice. What did I say this was? Green pumpkin. Salt impregnated, which means it's got some mass to it, so it'll sink down a little bit faster. This is the other way around. <laughs> right. Trying to help me get this done before the girls come busting through the door. 
next item. There you got the muffles. Five inch Cinco baby bass. How many are Ten? Yeah, ten in a pack. These baits are kind of pretty expensive, but um I think it was like a dollar off on this. I can't remember. It's been so long since I got them. Next thing I got is a filled in stream. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. You guys have dicks where you're at. But it's a green pumpkin. It's like a kind of like a pit boss looking thing. Let me pick it out. This thing was like a sell for a buck. I should have got a, bu a bunch more, but I think I only got this pack. Yeah, I only got one. I didn't want to take a chance, you know. So I was thinking, man, if they're selling for a buck, it's probably not that good. Filled the stream too. I never heard of it, that they had any baits, but that's what that looks like. Got a little bit of. It says heavy sugar infused to, to attract. Sugar sticks. They call these sugar sticks. This is a FNS filled in stream sugar mama, four inch green pumpkin. Yeah, I know. I should have got a bunch of them, but I didn't because I wanted to buy other stuff, you know. So next one is Reaction Innovation. This would be good for a little trailer. Six count. This is a Magic Crawl Swirl. That's pretty neat. This would be nice. I got a nice jig to use for this. Put this on the back of my jig. So, what else I got in here? I got. Wait a minute. I got this. I got swinging rugby, rugby jig, quarter ounce. Two piece. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. BMC. I'll take it out. I know what size hook these are. This is probably like a four up, maybe. Maybe a five. Yeah, I'm calling it. I'm saying it's a four up. I can't even really get them out. Nah, maybe not. So. When you got it bouncing around, this thing's got full, full on rotation. So your bait just got all kinds of movement on it. Pretty cool. These are actually kind of expensive. I can't remember how much they were. But anyway, next item. Oh. Look at this booyah jig. Half ounce. Black blue. You can go good with any of these baits I got, you know. Even that little creature bait. It might be a little small. You always cut it down and make it smaller. Got a rattle in it too. And last but not least, I got some bullet weights. What size is that? I don't even know. I don't know what size is this? Three eighths ounce in black. A little worm. Texas Texas rigging. That's not bad. So these are a little expensive too. But I don't even think they're tungsten. Or are they? I can't remember. Uh, no, nah, this is probably just regular lead. But anyway, that's it, guys. That's all I got. You know, I'm sorry I haven't gone out fishing yet. I know this is a fishing channel. I haven't even showed any videos of that. But I got a bunch of stuff that I still have to edit and put together. Um, I had just recently moved and was doing all these videos. And, um, you know, the move and the holidays and kids' birthday party. So don't worry. I plan on going out this weekend and going out. I think I'm going to just use uh, what I use, but I'll show in the video what I use, and so hopefully I catch something so I can put like some actual fishing on the videos. But anyway, stay tuned for other videos of me like doing the same thing with these little unbaggings. I got a few more, and um, we'll leave it at that. All right, guys, take care. Later.
Just in case you didn't believe me. <laughs> God dang! Holy shit. Okay, next thing. I got...